Hello everyone, I just added new features to the SNM Bricks AI. Let me show you guys how it works. Um, I am still making this website, so I am filling the contents and stuff. As you guys remember, we had AI SEO AI feature, so we have to enable that. And of course, we have to enable the AI settings as well. By the way, these days I, I started to use Gemini to reflash. It is tiny bit better than the 2.5 flash. Okay, so let me show the first how it works on the post or post types. This is a custom post type, so it can be any post type, of course. We can select one or more posts, same time. By the way, it's possible to show more items per page. Uh, this doesn't select like if you have like thousands of posts, of course, it's not going, it, you can't select all of them. Uh, but you can make it like show me the hundred. You can make hundred at a time or two hundred at a time. Actually, this even goes up to one thousand. Yeah, something like that. Keep it in mind. And let's click the AI generation. So this is the new feature: generate except instead of meta description. By default, if we generate a meta uh, description, SEO description, it will save it in the SEO meta. Okay. So let me actually let's clean this. <clears throat> By default, it will save it inside here. OK, SEO settings like most of the SEO plugins works like that, too. Uh, and meta description overrides the except. OK, but if we don't fill this meta description by default, uh, except will be read. Uh, as a meta description most of the time that's that's all you need because you have to make your description uh, the short description like seo friendly actionable cta style anyway so it matches okay so that's why i developed this i will not will you like i i don't want to use meta description anymore i just want to fill the except here okay so let's click, click, and when we enable it, except will be selected. And then uh, I don't want to change the title, of course. Title can stay. Don't don't regenerate titles, just write it manually. Okay. And let's generate it. By the way, I selected SEO. This is a default preset, like it says create SEO friend content. This is the uh, new one. I started to add like on all websites, all project I make, projects I make, I add uh, website knowledge. This is very important. I, I, I always talk about it, but people like always missing this. And then they they think like generation is bad. It is bad, yes, because of your fault. You are not giving the context to the AI. You have to give context. So let's save it. Boom. And after we do that, let's check this one. The except will be saved here. And good thing is if we check the description, it will be visible in here as well. Because as default, most of the SEO plugins work like that as well. That's why I develop my SEO features similar to that. See, the except dynamic content uh, automatically comes to the meta description. Simple, pretty simple. Let me show how it works on the taxonomies, terms, categories, tags as well. So yeah, this one uh, has some content. Let's, let's not select that much, just select a little bit. <laughs> and then I can select this stuff. By the way, this uh, presets coming from here, if you don't know, okay? Like even a little bit of information is enough, like give a little bit context, okay? This is very important. Let's generate a little bit, SEO, SNN, and of course, I don't want to change the titles, never generate the titles. I mean, in some cases, if you want to do it, but just don't let AI decide the most important things, okay? And the title is the most important thing. You should decide your own titles. Don't let the AI decide for you. And then let's click that. See, when I select this, it automatically changes the SEO description, MetaDesk, to taxonomy description. Oh, it works so great. 
simple but great so let's give it a couple seconds this speed depends on the model by the way great great looks fine let's save it why not and the good thing is i can see my description here too and this will serve in two or even three purpose like it is not just solves the description i can use on archive pages i didn't design it yet but on the archive pages i can show that short description uh, coming from the taxonomy i can see it from uh, here easier like i can i can see the descriptions previews easily to manage the uh, tags and categories and of course automatically fills the seo description as well like it, there is multiple multiple advantages uh, just filling the description instead of the meta description okay and then at this point on i will just keep using this description see this look at that like it, the, the, this meta meta box is useless at this point right I mean, yes, in some cases, you you may want to show different description on the front end. You can show this on the front end to the user and you can make your SEO different to the Google bots. Yes, that's possible. But edge case. OK, that's edge case. Yeah, that's it. This is the new features. Um, it will be released on the next release. Uh, it's not live yet. Hopefully next month. OK. See you guys in the next video.